welcome to the January edition of Forza Monthly. Can you believe it is 2021 already? I know I certainly can't. Hello! Hello! <laughs> welcome to Forza Horizon 5. One of the things that everyone on social media was talking about yesterday is about how phenomenal Forza Horizon 5 looks, with some of them even saying it's the greatest looking game of all time. Right from the start, we knew that we wanted to make the biggest Horizon ever. And you don't get that far down that path before you realise there's no point making the biggest step ever unless it's also the most diverse because otherwise you're just adding more of the same. Mexico is a country which is almost like the whole world in one country. Mm -hmm. It's just got snowy mountains, epic canyons, beautiful historic cities, stunning coastlines, jungles, rolling hills, uh, farmland multiple different types of desert and then you add on top of that the fact that it has this culture that's known and loved all around the world the art the music the people um there just couldn't be a more exciting option for the horizon festival than mexico i mean the accessibility options were one of the focuses i personally wanted to have when i was testing the game mm -hmm. um, especially since you know we've got such a wide range of people who play the game it's really important to make sure that anyone and everyone who wants to play the game can play the game and, and also enjoy themselves. Sure. That's right, the 2020 Toyota Supra GR is coming to Forza Horizon 5 on day one. Chris, should we go check out in game? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Forza Horizon 4 lands on Steam tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. And as we mentioned earlier, as a thank you to our millions of loyal players, and to welcome new players from Steam, all Forza Horizon 4 players across Xbox devices and Steam can add the 2019 Porsche 911 GT3 RS to your collections for free. Earlier today, the Hot Wheels Legends car pack was announced, which includes six brand new cars. We have another massively requested car, one that I, th I think probably more than any other has been uh, hounding us in all of our Twitter mentions for uh, the last <laughs> number of months, and that is the 2020 Corvette C8. It's finally here. It's finally here. Super 7 High Stakes launches this week. Uh, we're super excited for it. Shall we, shall we take a look? Chris Asaki on the show today. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, thanks, Leah, and howdy, everyone. Our development approach this time around is unlike uh, anything we've done before. We started uh, this work by asking you to sign up um, for our Forza panel, uh, just to ensure that you, your friends, and the communities you are building and are a part of uh, will really enjoy and thrive in this world of Forza Motorsport. And we've completely overhauled our physics and track dynamics. So the changes we made from Forza Motorsport 7 till now is more than the changes that we've made from Motorsport 4 through 7. Another thing um, we kept on hearing our players say um, is that they, you know, they want to get faster, but there aren't any systems in the game to help them. We implemented a new system to, to help you unlock your fastest self. Think about sector times and where were you really faster or slower? Um, you know, how can you focus your practice session to, to actually get better? Uh, we've got the Porsche Showdown arriving on Forza Street on June the 7th because the Summer Muscle Showdown comes to Forza Street in two weeks. First of all, we're excited to announce the upcoming 2021 Motorsports Gaming Series powered by IMSA. We've had an awesome week with uh, the Brickyard Bounty Hunter event uh, running where Joseph Newgarden has been out there racing on uh, on the event, putting down a lap time, putting down a time of 39.229. If you can beat him on the leaderboard, you get some very special prizes in game. Um, over the series of uh, three different Rivals events through September, there'll be different pro drivers out on track in Rivals who you can compete against. And that, as they say, is that. 2021 is a wrap for Forza Monthly, so we hope you enjoyed the show today. Uh, thank you to all of our guests for making the time to come online, and thank you to all of you, near and far, for watching and playing. We'll see you next year. Goodbye.